Over the next few days, we'll be experiencing everything Streamsong has to offer, including the incredible red and blue courses, as well as Streamsong's brand new short course called The Chain. But the black course is truly unlike anything else at Streamsong. While the red and blue courses share similarities, the black quite literally stands on its own. Streamsong Black is close enough that you can see the clubhouse from the elevated tee boxes on the red, but standing in the middle of the black course makes you feel as though you couldn't possibly be any further from the rest of the resort. This unique landscape is essentially one big sandbox, formed largely by the mining operations that preceded the golf course being built. But among all the sand are generous fairways and greens that are truly massive in scale. Above all though, the black course is truly fun to play. Five par fives give you plenty of scoring opportunities, and the generous greens make hitting your greens in regulation a fairly simple task. But if you want to post a good score here, you better figure out your flat stick fast, or these wildly undulating greens will leave you scratching your head and thinking about the score that could have been. Needless to say, we couldn't think of a better way to kick off our first ever trip to Stream Song than with a loop around Gil Hance masterpiece, The Black Course. By the way, if you're new here, we're Frank and Mike, and for the past five years, we've been traveling around the world playing countless incredible golf courses. From uncovering true hidden gems to playing top 100 bucket list tracks, we leave no stone unturned when it comes to finding unforgettable golf experiences. And we're stoked to be adding another to our list today with Stream Song Black. Uh, what number do you need to shoot today to, to walk in and get that? Uh, to get this? Yeah. But just, what's that yeah. little award for? What are you shooting? I'd say on the black horse, if I break 90 on the black horse, we're getting the prime New York strip. We're above 90, I might just get the smoke fish dip walk, and call it a day. No, you just, you <laughs> just gotta, walk You got to walk back to the lot. <laughs> Craig, what are we looking at for this first hole? First hole, par five, sometimes reachable, a little windy today, so may not be, but... Uh, very generous landing area. Layup's gonna leave you just short of the, the big cross bunker, and then you should have like a wedge, maybe nine iron at most in. Um, good birdie opportunity though, right out of the get-go. Looks good, right? Looks good. You know, I talk to all the customers here, uh, and if you put 100 golfers in the same room, that played all three courses, it literally breaks down a third, a third, and a third in what their favorite course is because they're all different. And that's the beauty, I think, of Streamsong is that, you know, if you're, my, my, this is just my personal opinion, is that if you drive the ball really well, you're gonna love red. And if you hit your irons really well, you're gonna love blue. And if you're looking to have the most fun of all the golf courses here, you're gonna enjoy black. You know, it, uh, you know, black is, is, is vast, it's beautiful. It has incredibly lar very large greens. Um, so if you have a great short game, really gonna love black. Kind of left towards the, towards the windmill better, safer. Yes. Is there green over there to the uh, left? It's very narrow green, it's about gonna go over, but you can dirty back up, it's okay. Gotcha. Traps over today. Okay. But you said 160. You play the 170 though. So what, just right of the windmill. Okay. Let the wind carry it in. Hey. Okay, it's it's not in that big bunker. I'm happy. That's that's the dead zone right there. <laughs> so when Gil designed the golf course, originally the greens were supposed to be basically three steps inside of where these irrigation heads are located. And they decided because they wanted it to be like uh, you're playing Lynx golf over in Scotland or Ireland where you could play the bump and run or the ground game or you could hit a chip if you wanted to. Um, they, want, they, they wanted a really uh, low cut grass. And so they made the decision to, to grass all of the green surrounds in the same grass that they used on the greens themselves. And when it's mini verde here at, at Black, when that mini verde grows up, unbeknownst to us originally, 
it gets a little bumpier than what we'd like and you can't maintain it in a manner that promotes being able to play the ground game the way that you would in Scotland or Ireland with fine fescue. So we decided to mow it out at green height all the way around. When the golf course first opened, we actually dotted the intending putting surface with green dots and you were only supposed to mark your ball inside the green dots but as you can see it's pretty hard to distinguish people with if their ball landed here they wanted to mark their ball because it looks like they're on the green so over time we just said you know what we'll just play everything as putting green uh, all the way down to the to where the uh, celebration grass begins and so that's why the greens look probably a third bigger than what they would look otherwise uh, if we played based on what the intent was originally. Two holes and I've hit it with the flat stick six times already. Six spots, two holes? <laughs> we're gonna figure this out. <laughs> we're gonna figure, we're hitting them, we're hitting them good. We're gonna learn, no, we are feeling good. I we're think gonna our, learn how to putt here. That's it. We learn how to putt, we're gonna score. That's it. All right, I hear correctly you found a Megalodon tooth out here? Yeah, that was a while back. Yeah? Yeah. Where'd you find it? On the tee box, number seven red. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. Oh, about that big. Yeah. So all this land was mined for phosphorus. So phosphorus sits anywhere from 25 to 28 feet below ground uh, in this area. And the, why is this area so popular is because uh, this was called the Bone Valley. And the Bone Valley is an area, this was all underwater a million years ago. So in here, there's many, many, many fossils that are found in this, in this area. So at the resort in the lodge, uh, we have this huge, gigantic megalodon jaws uh, that are in there. It's a replica jaw, but all the teeth in it were found on mosaic land during the mining process. And these teeth are this big, and they're shark teeth. And uh, so I, I think that's a, a big story about the mining process. Now that big bucket, which weighs 22,000 pounds, um, is used um, in, by what's called a um, drag line. And the drag line is this huge, gigantic crane with a, over a 100-foot boom on it, and in the cab sits about five stories in the air. It digs out huge parcels of land, digging down into the ground, 25 to 28 uh, feet into the ground, and pulls back. Then they dump it in, and then they sort out the phosphorus, and then clay, and then sand. So at Streamsong, when you arrive at the uh, property, you will see at the red and blue clubhouse when you pull up these gigantic dunes that look like nothing you've ever seen in the state of Florida. And those dunes have been there for 60 years and they're part of, part of the mining process and sand is the, one of the byproducts. So they've been there for 60 years and, and like the blue course, um, which um, first tee sits um, 200 feet above sea level and it's about 75 feet above the terrain below it. So you're teeing off from the top of this huge sand dune and it's just a spectacular first opening tee shot for Blue. Oh yeah, be the right one, be the right one. It's okay, hey, we're putting baby. <laughs> So like Pinehurst and other places that have these waste areas, you can ground your club here, not a penalty. I love that. Driving greens almost now. Almost. Huh? <laughs> but the putting is where it's <laughs> still fired the pin at, what'd you say, 45? 45. <laughs> I mean, I don't see any reason not to putt this, right? You see any reason not to hit a putt here? Is it gonna break? Yeah, it will. Really good. All right. Yeah, we just let the terrain turn it. That's all. That's all. So I guess the really, really long putts I'm okay with. It's just, just all the, the other putts yeah, today, not so footer. much. Yeah. yeah. Fast, but we're going to hit it instead of waiting to see if it's break. We're going to wait and see if it don't break. <laughs> Come down. Come down. Oh, oh. It doesn't break. It doesn't break. Good part. What do you think so far? So far, it's great. It's different. I mean, the word I would use is different. Right, I mean, we've, we've seen our like collection of different courses from like Pine Valley to Pinehurst to Tobacco Road and Cabot Citrus Farms, but like, I feel like you get a little bit of each here, you know, which is crazy. I've been in some deep bunkers. There's the waste areas. It's trouble, but it's fun. So far, so good. All right, so this is gonna tell you where the uh, uh, whole location is today. So each day this, they move this monument. That gives you an idea. It's 
kind of back right quadrant today. And then obviously your line off the tee, the windmill is there, so you know where to hit the ball off the tee. And really usually right at that windmill or just a little right of it from these tees is a good line. All right, making the turn, of course, we're gonna try the Cuban. Everybody's talking about the Cuban, we have to do it. But uh, I'm learning real quick that putting is the differentiator out here. And uh, we're slowly figuring it out. I will say though, it is fun. I've never had a Cuban in my life. Do you want me to give you an official bite? Yeah, I do. Careful, it's gonna be really hot. Oh, that's how, that's it, it's gonna be. Logo on it. Uh, yeah, it's nice and Actually, can I bring my? Yeah, like, that's got it all. I mean, it's got it all. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, good choice. Yeah. The par fives, the, the five of them that we have, um, several of them are gettable um, and pretty consistently, like 10, you can get it pretty consistently. Got a New York strip steak on the line, Barry. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go for it. I gotta go for it, I think, you know? Right. If I break 90, I get to order the big steak tonight. Well, give me a 210 shot. You got it. 210 shot. That's get, it. Get the real back. The real back. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Just give me a good line. Don't go up there. All right, we're getting on. We're getting on to it. Uh, I already just said it's onion rings and soup for you for It dinner. looks like it. <laughs> I got nine more holes. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna break 90 here. It's a tough course, man. You could do it. Yeah, absolutely. Oh yeah, be the club. This guy loves a tough lie, doesn't he? <laughs> I eat the slot. He just loves the top <laughs> It's just put him in the fairway. It's yeah, over. Panic. Yeah. I'm in the fairway. I'm panic. <laughs> so we're coming into an area now on the 12th green that we call the glove. Uh, it's called that because from the air it kind of looks like a baseball mitt or baseball glove. Uh, so this, uh, there wasn't as much dirt moved on this site as there was on a little bit of the other parts of the golf course. He just kind of worked it through the fingers of this area. So if it was if it was a a baseball glove like the 17th green and and uh t would be like the thumb this is kind of the palm of the mitt and then the holes that go out in this way are like the fingers coming off the glove and you can really see it if you take drawing a pine up it's really cool Oh yeah, go. Roll down to it. Not bad. Come on, come on, come on. Oh! 18 is total risk reward. There is, there is, a small sliver of success and failure separating the two because it can be a 225 yard shot all carry over water with a steep face bunker right in front that's probably 15 18 oh, feet deep. just get on that green green grass green grass okay and so you got options there you don't have to go for it you can hit it out to the left hand side with a five iron and lay up and hit a little flip wedge in um, but a lot of our guests love to go for it on 18. All right, add it up, did you do it? Moment of truth. I'll tell you what, if I did it, just cut to me eating a nice fat New York strip steak. 